Guys, how's it going? I know that most of you all that are watching are self-quarantined some way or another, which is why I'm making this video. I want to keep reminding you guys that this, is, this doesn't give us the permission to become stagnant. We get to still move our bodies to pump fluids in and out through our system, become that pond with fresh water coming in all the time. With that in mind, I want to give you a beginner fat burning exercise program for you all. This is a continuation video, so make sure to watch my last video about stretching before doing these exercises. I will have the link in the description below. After you have finished stretching your tight muscles, we must strengthen the weak areas of our bodies. But because our physiology is different from one another, I'm going to give you a general program you can all do right at home. I will include the right form and, mod and modifications if needed. Now let's get to it, shall we? All right, guys, in today's lecture, we are going to talk about squats and how to perform them correctly. It's very important because what you do inside the house or outside the gym will transfer itself in real life situation. Meaning, if you do an exercise incorrectly, you're most likely going to get injured because you repeated that movement several times. You train yourself to do it. With that being said, I'm going to give you modifications in case you cannot do an exercise or maybe you have a bad knee or if you have an injury. When we are performing our squat, we want to make sure that we evenly distribute our weight on our foot. We're going to use the foot tripod concept. This refers to three points of contact that the bottom of the foot makes with the ground. You want to be able to feel the pressure on your heel and focus on the ball of your foot on your big toe and the ball of your foot on the fifth toe, which is the outside one. This triangle will look like the tripod concept. Don't worry if you cannot get this low. It's important that you continue so that you get looser and looser. Think about a pull-up. I cannot have you run to do better pull-ups. You must perform the pull-ups to get better. Here's your modification in case you cannot do a squat. You can have a seat on a chair, a stool, or even the bed. You can bring your arms out to leverage the weight and to keep you upright. Keep your chest up and do not collapse. However, what if you can't even do that? You can actually use your hands to help you get up. Next we have the push-ups. Whenever you come up from the push-up, you must be able to feel that your shoulder blades are getting the full range of movement that it needs. You don't want your shoulders to be rigid. Make it move. Move the shoulder in and out. Retract. You also want to keep your lower back rigid. You don't want to hyperextend. Keep that core tight when you're performing the entire push-up. And even though you're doing a knee push-up, you want to make sure that everything is nice and straight, including your head. Unfortunately, this stock footage that I got from the internet is not giving me the right form. But hey, that's what I get for now recording it. If the knee push-ups is too easy, then you're ready for the regular push-ups. Here's something you need to know about. If you do not feel it in your chest, then it is too much. You must go back to a modification because you are compensating and not feeling in the right muscles. So make sure you feel it on your chest, not on your shoulders, not on your triceps, but on your chest. And for my advanced athletes, you can do explosive push-ups. Like I said before, you wanna land like a ninja. You don't want no impact on the wrist, elbows, or shoulder. The higher you go, the harder it is. Let's get it. Lastly, we have the lunges. To perform the lunge correctly, first you want to have the back leg flexed and the front leg slightly bent. Keep your weight on the ball of your foot on the back leg and place the, the tripod concept that I was talking to you about in the front. It's important that you kick back with the front leg versus the back. A lot of people make the mistake of doing the back. You will not feel your quads when you do that. Here's another thing that I see. A lot of people let their knee pass their toes. Some athletes can actually get away with these. However, most of the population, I wouldn't advise it. And if you find these stationary lunges to be hard, you can grab onto something or a broomstick to lessen the load on the legs and knees. And of course, for my advanced athletes, 
you guys can do explosive lunges. Jump as high as possible and land like a cat. Be that ninja that you are. Land softly. Use those arms. That actually goes for everybody. Use your arms because this is biomechanics 101. And now I'm gonna leave you with the sets and reps and even the rest time you will need to take during this workout. Make sure to log your exercise and see how many you did so that way you can improve next time you do them. For the beginners who need to use their hands or a stool, when you're doing the squats, I'm gonna leave you with 10 to 15 reps. Meaning, find a point where it feels right and make sure you do not compensate when you're performing your squats. When you compensate, that's when you need to stop. And for the push-ups, you're gonna do the same thing, 10 to 15 reps. Lunges, 10 to 15. There's not gonna be any rest in between the workouts, only at the end. And you're gonna perform three to five sets. That means you're gonna do the circuit three, four, or five times. Again, make sure to log it so that whenever you come back to it, you know you've gotten better. And for my intermediates, what I'm gonna have you do for your squats, 15 to 20 reps. Push-ups, 15 to 20 reps. Lunges, same thing, 15 to 20 reps. And we're gonna rest for 45 seconds. And we're gonna do this for five sets. And for my advanced people, when you're performing your squat jumps, you're gonna do 20 to 25 reps. Explosive push-ups, 15 to 20 reps. Explosive lunges, 15 to 20 reps. And you're gonna rest for 30 to 45 seconds. And we're gonna do this for five rounds. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Give these workouts a try. At the end of the day, it is up to you. If it's not hard, that's because you're not focusing enough into the exercise. You wanna put the mind-body connection and I will promise you, you will fatigue earlier than you think.